Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. I thought, now I'm home from my holiday, although I filmed it, filmed it in advance, I would show you another cash gift wallet idea. Now, I haven't got any money in here because I've just grabbed it out to put it into the next one. Um, but this is a remake of a prop or repurpose of a project I made about six or seven years ago. And that was a love bomb wallet. So here you can see that there's three little holes or three little slots. And I originally designed it so that you could maybe write love notes to a loved one or messages perhaps to a child going off to university or something like that. Um, but I'm repurposing it because you all seem to really love my ideas for how to gift money in a non-boring way. So we're remaking it and this time obviously we're doing an upgrade. So I'm using the Inked Botanicals Suite, which is lovely. So the paper is very pretty, very pretty and very gentle. This is the whole suite here. So it's, um, they are, they're actually pressed flowers to give the impression. Um, I watched a making of videos, you know, how they made the paper and how they made these. And there, there were real flowers that were dipped in dark paint and then pressed onto paper. And that's what's translated into these fantastic patterns like this pattern paper here. And obviously all of these images, it's really interesting. Oh, this is the paper. <laughs> this one okay anyway right I've lost my instructions they're on my phone from where I made my original project uh yeah back in September 2017 that was the original project and I'm following my instructions because I like to do this so that I know that they're simple enough to follow okay two pieces of six by six paper is what you need if you work in um, metric you will need to trim your paper down to 15 by 15 because these are 15 and a quarter is standard. Okay, and we're going to score both of them in exactly the same way. So on the first side, three quarters of an inch, one and a half, four and a half, and five and a quarter. Everything's going to be written down on the on my blog. Click open the description bar and you'll see it all there. So don't worry about writing it down. In metric, that's two, four, eleven, and thirteen. And then on the second side, score it at three inches, seven and a half centimetres, and then do exactly the same on the other piece. So three quarters, one and a half, four and a half, and five and a quarter by three. So basically, this bit here is three by three inches. Okay, scooch that out of the way, and then my paper so we're in half term now here in the UK um, we have a week school holiday so for the benefit of my overseas friends oh I'm just folding this one back the other way so it goes like that um, yeah for the benefit of our overseas friends so our children have they have about they start the school year in September and it's about seven weeks for that half term and then they have a week off although I believe some locations in the UK are trialing two weeks then they have so they have seven weeks a week off about seven weeks and then two weeks off over Christmas which is my favorite time and then they do seven weeks have a have a week off in February seven weeks and then we have two weeks off over Easter and then seven weeks and a half term the spring term or the summer term the half term which is now and then another seven weeks before seven weeks over off, off over the summer so there's three terms a year and we have three one week breaks two two week breaks and a seven week break so the children not not in school very much <laughs> no they are but yeah they're on holiday again okay so one of these gets cut the other doesn't so that's how it is so we've got this sort of zigzag shape and then folded and you can see how it's going to begin to come together but that's quite bulky so my original one I planned to do it like that but it was just it was just too bulky so we're just going to take a little bit out and that is one of these outer bits so I don't know which way you're going to see it so I've got a strip that there's the score line you can see it under my shadow score line there score line there so one two and then below that score line three four we're taking one the outer corner away with the world's longest scissors and the fact that i have not got my close-up glasses on today 
hope I can see. So that one's gone and then the same over here. Okay, it just makes it a little less bulky. So that is going to stick to there. Okay, so liquid glue, glue of choice, tear and tape, strong adhesive, whatever you fancy. And just close like that. Okay, and then this one is going to sit inside and these bits this panel here is going to glue to the back. So I'm just going to do one side first. Okay, so that's where my glue is. So I'm just lining it up on this one and then press into shape. Okay, so that's now in place and this one as well. And like that. And if, as I have in my case, it overlaps a tiny bit, there we go, it's just a little bit high, we we'll just come along with a pair of scissors and chop it off. There we go, so it's stuck up a little bit, and that's all lined up now. And now's the fun part, now we get the money. So I've brought all of the notes that I have, and everybody loves to comment on our fabulous currency. Yes, still has the queen on. Um, I don't know when King Charles might be on it. So I've got a five pound note, 10 pound note and a 20. And it's on the reverse that we have notable people on the back of them. So Winston Churchill there, no idea who these people are. I don't look at our currency and I probably, if I had a pair of glasses, oh, that's Jane Austen. Um, I could see who it is. That is Joseph Munford William Turner. Anyway, <laughs> and obviously Winston Churchill, you can't miss him. So the money fits in fine without any issues so that's my 20 pound note actually it probably could fit in even like that no problem and my 10 and you could because there are there's two bits you could put a second one oh, I've got another one you could put a second one in there let's have a look what have I got here oh another five pound note one in there, so 20, 30, oh that's a nice gift, 40 pounds fitting in there nicely with no problems, it's not sticking over the top. Um, can somebody send me some pictures of, I'm told, Australian currency is very, very nice, very colourful and Canadian and it's been quite a, t a time since I was in Canada um, with, you know, with Canadian currency. I remember going years ago more 20 30 oh gosh 29 years ago first time I went to Canada I needed to change some currency because I'd driven in from America and I went to the bank to draw some currency out and they absolutely loved the fact that I was English and wanted to show me their currency and it was really cool and I remember having a very long conversation with the lady in the bank about it but I'd love to see your currency whatever it is show me what it looks like okay so that's some Lost Lagoon ribbon because it pair, pairs perfectly. And then, I don't know what I'm going to stamp on the front yet, because I like these. I don't think you're going to say thank you and hand cash over to somebody, nor are you really going to say hello, friend. I do think you're probably going to say happy birthday. So I'm going to do as I did before, which was double stamp. But I'm going to choose different colours this time round. So I'm going to take this one and the happy birthday. I mean, if somebody wants to say hello, friend, and give me a wadge of cash, go for it. But let, yeah, it's not really going to happen. OK, so I haven't cut, I haven't prepped any cardstock. So we're going to do blind cutting and hope I'm reasonably straight. That looks fairly straight to me. Maybe a bit big, but let's just hack a bit off. When you've got long scissors, you can go reasonably. Yeah, that works. I've just moved my entire desk. I probably didn't just move the camera. Oops. Um, I don't believe that every single bit of crafting needs to be measured to within an inch of its life. So 
I think there's nothing wrong with snip snip with your scissors like that. Okay, so I this one I did crushed curry with the Lost Lagoon over the top, and you can't really see the crushed curry, but equally I don't know how Calypso Coral's gonna come out, so we might have a little bit of a practice on, oh God, you can tell this is a color I don't use very often, on some very vanilla over here. So that's quite dark. That's pale, and let's see what happens with Lost Lagoon over the top. Can't read it. You can read that, so it's going to have to be the secondary side. I don't know why I've just closed that up. Okay, onto my little square. And then Lost Lagoon back in again. that's readable and then, oh I put all my embellishments away <laughs> oh throw my ink pad around let's just get those back out again oh, what have I got in sort of a that would be good I used the um, these ones before which I love these are sparkle gems because you know they sparkle really well but I quite like these that sort of kind of grungy boho color what are these called neutrals adhesive back sequins we'll go with that and then what I like to do is I like to take a bit of my glue and then stick them back in then they're not going to walk around anyway So I'm kind of thinking this coppery colour, it's sort of giving me Calypso Coral vibes. Can't believe I've just said that. I'm far too old to say vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I laugh at myself. Okay, it's giving me Calypso Coral vibes. You know what I mean. Okay, I want to get the sides so that that ribbon can slip around. This one I managed to stick it and the, ribbon, the ribbon's not moving. Okay. And there we go. And that, I think if this was a square knot, which is what this one was, um, there's not too much floral going on. And let's just be honest, I don't think florals matter if you're giving money to somebody and they happen to be male. Um, if you saw my videos of a few weeks back where I um, made the card with a little pocket and the strap over it I gave my son one with money in and actually I, I gave my husband money to put towards something as well he got the pink flowery one and he was not bothered at all anyway I hope you like these I need to trim those off but I want to leave it open for photos I hope you find it useful that is a nice way to gift money and you could obviously given the size of it put it in a card in an envelope and you know I like it anyway thank you ever so much for joining me if you're on a half term as well what are you doing what are you up to and yeah show me your currency let me know what it looks like take care everybody bye <laughs>